Okay, there are just a few more things that we need to take a look at when it comes to combat results and things that can occur. And one of those is the potential for rubble or fire to be created if three or more hits occur in a certain type of terrain hex. So if you have a city, town, woods, light woods, light jungle, or jungle, or module specific hex that receives three or more hits, it has the potential to be rubbled or fired. So let's say our T-80 here sitting in this city hex is destroyed and it takes more than three hits into this hex. Well, if you have that happen, you're going to roll 1d6 and on a result of 1 to 3, nothing's going to happen. It's just going to remain a city hex. You'll place a rec marker like usual. But if you have a result of 4 through 6, different things can happen. So if the result is a 4 specifically, then the hex is going to become rubbled and you will take and place a rubble marker into the hex and there is a rubble line on your terrain effects chart and you're going to use that line instead of the city hex line that you were using previously. If the result was a 5 instead of a 4 and you didn't already have a burnt out marker in this hex, you would place a fire marker instead of the rubble marker. Fire 2 does have its own line on the terrain effects chart and also any wrecks or improved positions or cleared markers are also going to be removed from that hex. Plus any units that are in the hex that catches fire are going to attempt to retreat as if they lost an assault action. We'll cover assaults in a later video. If you do have a unit that can't perform a retreat, it's going to be eliminated. And if you have a helicopter that's in the hex that can be affected by the fire, then it may immediately attempt to change its mode to retreat one hex away. This mode change is not subjectable to opportunity fire. Now let's say that you had rolled a 6 on that 1d6 roll. In that case, you're actually going to place the rubble and the fire marker in the hex, and you're going to have the effects of both applied to that hex. So a 4 creates rubble, 5 creates fire, and 6 creates rubble and fire into the hex. Now you do have the opportunity to clear a rubbled hex. If you have an engineer unit in the hex, they can spend their impulse. They declare it as a movement action and they're going to perform basically a morale check, but they do get a negative three modifier to it. If it's equal to or under their morale, then the rubble will be removed and you will place a cleared marker in the hex instead and also, if it's greater than their morale, obviously they're going to fail and the rubble marker will remain in the hex.